Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. So I kept channeling the words, I see, I see. I just kept hearing, I see, I see. And I'm like, what is this, Spirit Guides? What is I see? And so it led me to uh, look at my word genius because I have words of the day that pop up. And so the word of the day is anon. And the definition of anon is soon, shortly. So somebody is going to be seeing something soon. Something is going to, I guess, be revealed to someone soon. Somebody's going to be able to see something soon. Or something is going to take place soon here. But it's something about seeing. So I don't know if your ancestors are going to bring some type of message to you. But you're going to be able to see it. Whatever is going to take place, it's definitely going to be taking place soon. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in and see what's going on. Spirit. We have the cargo ship here, but look at all the, the packages, all whatever that is. Um, it definitely could be a good thing or a bad thing here. I'm going to put it back because it flipped over. It didn't flip out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the Astro Lander in the reverse here. So somebody literally could be falling from grace here. Yeah, we have the backpack in the reverse here. So somebody li literally is just going to unpack some things here. Somebody literally could, could literally unload some things that they possibly have been um, having on their chest here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have calm here. Whoever you are, just remain calm. For some of you, somebody literally is trying to confront you here or something like that. Uh, remain calm. You're going to see something soon. So I don't know if it's the fact that um, somebody literally is going to explode or something like that. But just remain calm, whoever you are. For some of you, somebody literally is going to unload on somebody and then go back to being calm. And so people are going to see that somebody literally has some type of mental problem that they need to deal with here. Yeah, we have the ellipse here. So something about mirroring could be significant. Or somebody literally is doing some type of mirror magic here. Some type of glamour spell I just heard. We have the cat in the reverse here. Yeah, remain calm because the cat is getting definitely getting ready to, to be let out of the bag here. So somebody literally could be unloading here. Basically getting a whole lot off their chest here. But we have the ellipse in the reverse as well here. For some of you, there's somebody that was, whoever this is, that were doing whatever they were doing behind the scenes here. Um, yeah, something could happen to this person here. 
something about a car is significant as well here. Somebody's going to let the cat out of the bag about a car. Mm -hmm. One more, please, spirit. Somebody's no longer going to be able to reach here, so somebody's no longer going to be able to um, do whatever it is that they were trying to do to you. I'm also picking up, too, that somebody is no longer going to be able to ask people for help. Or there's people that are no longer going to ask people for help here. Or, or I just said that two times. <laughs> uh, or there are people that are no longer going to assist somebody in doing something here. We have disappointed in the reverse here. I feel like that when it comes to you, there are some things that you are going to see and you're not going to be disappointed here. Yeah, excited at the bottom of the deck. Um, so with some type of excitement that is going to be brought to you here, but I feel like that there is some information that you're going to be seeing or you're going to be hearing about or it's something that you're going to see here. Um, somebody doesn't want you to be disappointed in them though. I'm also picking up too that there are people that aren't going to be disappointed um, when it comes to a feminine energy here. There's a feminine energy that's going down, but somebody doesn't want somebody to be disappointed when the cat is let out of the bag here. Yeah, we have yo-yo here. So some type of games were being played behind the scenes here. Are you just going to find out what the game is that was being played. Yeah, we have Sneaky Fox here. So you're possibly going to find out that somebody was playing a game with the Sneaky Fox. So if they were playing games with Sneaky Fox, uh, Sneaky Fox, then they're literally a Sneaky Fox here. Um, this could literally could be a Sneaky Fox who's going to basically unload, um, get things off of their chest here. This is somebody who literally could have been trying to take you down. What else, Spirit? Mm -hmm. This person knows that um, they possibly won't be able to move forward with you here. Um, but somebody was trying to stop your ships from coming in, but we did see that cargo ship with a whole lot of stuff coming in. So yeah, you're getting ready to be excited here uh, very soon because there is a lot of things that are coming in and I feel like that they're good things coming in for you here. Somebody was trying to stop it here, but whoever you are, you're not at a fork in the road here. I feel like whoever this person is, they possibly are no longer at a fork in the road here. Um... But I feel like it's because whatever game that this person or these people thought that they were playing, it resulted in a backfire here. So let's see what's going on because you will see something soon. That is for sure. Or something soon will take place and you're going to be able to see it, whatever it is, whether it be good or bad. I feel like something good is, is, is going to take place in your life, but I'm not, I'm not sure for somebody else's life here. Yeah, we have moving here. So somebody could be moving or somebody could have already moved here. Because we have the backpack in the reverse here. Or somebody wants to get it off their chest here. That they're moving or something like that. Um, there's definitely somebody that is going through karma here. Whoever this person is. Yeah, firestorm. But it's something about a fire that's significant here. So 
let's see what's going on. Why is this backpack in the reverse? Yeah, whoever this is, they're going through karma, so they possibly are going to unload. Something about child services here. So somebody's kids are at risk of being taken or is about to or about to or there's somebody that could have been reporting something to to child services when it comes to you here. Mhm. Mm somebody's kids possibly aren't going to school or something like that with a backpack in the reverse here. Or somebody wants to just unload, get something off their chest here. So for some of you, this person literally could have tried to report, submit some type of false reports when it comes to you possibly neglecting or abusing your child or children here. Yeah, whoever you are, remain calm. I feel like that whoever these people are, they know that they're going to get caught. They're not going to be able to trap you up. But there is somebody that doesn't want you to be disappointed in them because they were a part of it here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this definitely could be a divination abuser here. Um, somebody literally could have said that you were a divination abuser, but I feel like it's going to backfire. Mm -hmm. Why is this calm here? Yeah, whoever you are, remain calm. Because you're definitely going to find out some things soon. You're definitely going to see some things soon here. Yeah, for some of you, the, whoever this person is, they're going to try to send you some type of love message or something like that. And this love message could possibly entail um, this person literally unloading, basically revealing to you what they were doing behind the scenes. But it could be a couple here. Y'all see how it's a masculine and feminine energy here? So you're going to find out that the same person that possibly was sending you love messages is the same person that was working with somebody else to try to take you down here. Yeah. The fact that matter is, I feel like it's going to backfire. Um, there, whoever this feminine energy is that partnered up with this masculine energy here, they're going down. Yeah, somebody's going to be looking like a jackass here. Mm -hmm. But these people were trying to take you down. We have threatening in the reverse here. So there are people that are going to realize that you're not intimidating. You're not threatening here. But I feel like that you're not intimidated by these people. You're not threatened by these people here. You're not bothered by these people here. But I am also picking up too that these people did. They wanted to they wanted to intimidate you. They wanted wanted to threaten you. They wanted you to be, feel bothered here. Mm-hmm. Whoever this person is, I feel like that they don't want you to be disappointed in them. But whoever this is, they definitely are getting um, karma, bad karma here. And you're possibly going to watch it or, or get to see it here. Why is the cat in the reverse? But I'm also picking up too with that IC that whoever this person is... Um, that you could have been involved with or... This could be family members, but whoever this person is that literally wants to unload on you or something like that, they literally um, are going to see that you are not the enemy. You are not the uh, wolf in sheep clothing here. You are not the sneaky fox here. Mm-hmm. Somebody literally could have done some things behind the scenes. When it comes to trying to conjure up special recipes on you and your children, you know, to possibly drain you and your children so your children won't be able to go to work or school or you won't be able to go to work or something like that as well. Yeah. Whoever this person is, yeah, they have secrets here. But there's a feminine energy who has secrets here. I feel like that whoever um, this person is, they were being led by this feminine energy to do whatever was doing behind the scenes here. And basically they told this person not to say nothing here. Or the fact of the matter is, this person was just leading the pack and everybody else just fell behind here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whoever this person is or these people are, they keep going round and round doing the same cycles over and over. But I feel like that they kept doing 
uh, things going doing things over and over when it comes to you here and yeah they're they're getting bad karma they're definitely gonna learn lessons here but somebody literally could be dealing with some insanity as well why is this disappointed in the reverse Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have praying here. So whoever you are, you're a praying warrior. I feel like that regardless of what's going on, whether you know or not, you still have faith that God's going to work everything out here. I feel like that you've already healed here. And I feel like that if you don't meditate, you possibly need to meditate. Or if you meditate, maybe you need to meditate more here. Give me another one for the disappointed in the reverse. Yeah, whoever this feminine energy is, yeah, they got secrets here. And they're going down. The cat is out of the bag, or the cat is going to be out of the bag, let out of the bag here. So you're going to find out about a lot of secrets. So for some of you, there is somebody that literally is going to let the cat out of the bag. But it's because they're going through bad karma. Yeah, we have love triangle. So this person literally could have tried to put you in a love triangle here, or... They were put in some type of love triangle. I mean, we do have a masculine and feminine energy here and then another feminine energy here. But it's something about the cat in the reverse with this feminine energy here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever you are, this person could have left you hanging. No closure, no contact. They just left you on red. But I feel like that you remain calm. Or with the fact the fact of the matter is, whatever whatever's going on behind the scenes, when this person tries to communicate with you, I feel like because you've already healed, you're definitely going to remain calm. Even when you find out everything that has been taking place behind the scenes. Because, yeah, you're free. You've already moved on. You've already let go. And you're definitely loving you. But something definitely could have took, taken place behind the scenes here. Because whoever these people are, they indulge in a toxic lifestyle here. Mm -hmm. And for some of you, with this third party situation, multiple lovers, people having choices here. Um, there could be a feminine energy here who's pregnant here. But it says fake news on the card. So. Maybe whoever this is. It's unloading. They want to basically reveal all these secrets here. Why is the child services here? This person could have found out. That one of these people that they were dealing with. Is pregnant or something like that. Yeah, we have illumination in the reverse. So, yes, the truth was being hidden from somebody here. Somebody wasn't awakened here. But, yeah, somebody literally was trying to hide these secrets. Somebody definitely is going to try to send you a message. And I feel like that there's a lot of things that you're going to see. And you're going to understand why somebody was doing what they were doing. But you're also going to see somebody getting bad karma. Or you're going to hear about somebody's bad karma here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have girl fight here. So for some of you, there's somebody that wants to argue with you. Or they want to have some type of physical fight. So for some of you, the plan was for these two people to group up. Or the plan is for these two people to group up. To send some type of love message. To, to cause some type of conf confrontation here. To take you out. Or that's what was going on between these people. Because remember we have a feminine and masculine energy. And then we have another feminine energy here. So I'm picking up that there could be a backstory that led up to why somebody treated you this way. It's games. So whoever these people are, they just play games. Thank you, spirit. And so you're going to see... Somebody for who they really are. Why the love message here? Yeah, we have Psycho. 
So yeah, this is a crazy ex. This is somebody that's obsessed. This is somebody that won't let you go. Or this person is finding out how crazy their ex is. What is this spirit? Yeah, something about no facts here. Somebody never has the facts. They just make up stuff. Lies. So somebody literally could have told a lot of lies about you, but they didn't have any facts here. And this person, yeah, they worked as a team here, so it's a couple here. Um, yeah, they were just making stuff up about you here. Whoever this is, they don't want you to be disappointed here. This could be somebody that puts you in a love th party, a third party situation, a love triangle here. Um, and I feel like whoever this person is, they just want to dust. They just want you to dust it off like it never happened or something like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, but then we have legal issues here. So, I don't know if these people are trying to get you involved in legal issues or if they if these people have legal issues going on. Why is this love triangle here? Yeah, we have reckless love, reckless sex here. So, something about reckless love, reckless sex here. So, somebody possibly was making up lies about you. Saying that you involve yourself with a lot of people and you have reckless sex and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for some of you, whoever this person is, they're they're seeing their person for who they are. So for some of you, this didn't happen. But but a lot of the stuff did happen. Let me clear that up because that didn't make no sense. So for some of you, the person they they were partnered up with somebody. To do unjust things to you behind the scenes. But now this person is possibly seeing why they were involved. Um, they could find out that it was a part of this person's game. This feminine energy's game. Uh, for some of you, this feminine energy literally could have had some type of spell on this person here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I feel like it's too. It's after a lot of things have taken place behind the scenes here. Whoever this is, they do want to unload here. But I feel like that this person did a lot of things behind the scenes, and they don't want you to be disappointed in them. I feel like you don't care about this person. You don't want to deal with this person. Um, I feel like that you already, yeah, you see, you already know who this person is. I don't know if they don't know that you see. But you definitely see right through this person here. Yeah, this person literally could come in like that they have love on the brain. They literally could be dreaming of you, fantasizing about you. Because for some of you, they don't think that you know uh, that they played a part or that they were a team member here. For some of you, this person possibly thinks that you think that it was their per person that was doing these things to you. But they actually worked as a team here. Yeah. They literally could be coming in and saying that they're moving on from whoever this person is here. Um, but I don't believe they are. Whoever this person is, they're a, they're an obsessive lover of yours. So we have a psycho crazy ex and then we have an obsessive lover. So this person is dangerous. They're toxic. They're unhealthy. They're possessive. And they're a karmic. So we have a karmic masculine and karmic feminine out here. Mm-hmm. And yeah, while they were in love triangles, because this person literally could have put you in a love triangle, you could have found out and you could have walked away. Well, that's a part of their game. So it's like, a I don't know what these people, are they a cult or uh, some type of coven or something like that? But they definitely were, were doing things here. And it involves reckless sex here. And at the end of the day, whoever this person or these people are, yeah, they caught some type of case. And it has something to do with sexual infection, sexual disease. Yeah, whoever you are, you're too busy winning, and you're getting ready to be too busy winning even more. Um, there could whoever these people are, they literally could be uh, looking up dirt on you or something like that here. Wow.
somebody feels like that you're turning your back on them, whoever this obsessive uh, lover is, and they literally could be holding some type of grudge. Mm -hmm. Wow. What else, Spirit? Yeah, whoever you are, you're secure, you're confident, you're a boss bitch, you're career focused here. So yeah, remain calm. Um, I feel like that whoever these people are, yeah, remain calm because <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, we have shocking news. Something about something being dug up here because we have the dirt digging here. But somebody's also trying to get some type of shocking news on you by digging up some old dirt. But I feel like that for some of you, because it says, or vice versa on the car. So for some of you, there's some old dirt that's going to be dug up. But you aren't the one that's going to dig it up. And it's going to be shocking. So I see. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see something. And so something could be broadcasted for a whole lot of people to see. Yeah, whoever these people are, they literally could be married. Yeah, whoever you are, you're an unbothered energy. Um, whoever these people are, yeah, they definitely do have karmic ties here. And I feel like that these people are being haunted here. They, they could literally be being haunted or they could just be being haunted from some type of memories here. Somebody could be literally having flashbacks here. Or these people. Take it how it resonates. Somebody could be trying to locate you with this GPS here. Something about your location here. Because for some of you, somebody literally could be trying to bring forth some type of offer here. But it's a fake offer. Yeah, somebody's under pressure here. Whoever this obsessive lover is, they're under pressure here. And I feel like it has something to do with the legal situation here. Is they know that time's running out. Um, somebody also, yeah, has has done some type of uh, love spell on somebody here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, whoever, we did see the bad karma, so... But somebody literally put a love spell on somebody here, and that's how all this stuff started. So somebody is going to see somebody's games, or they're going to see that they were involved in somebody's game here. And they didn't know that how they got involved, or they didn't know why. And it's because of some type of spell here, love spell, and whatever spell. These people literally could have been binding spell, uh, been doing binding spells here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody has bad habits here. So somebody could be addicted to drugs. Just a lot of toxic things here. Mm -hmm. Somebody literally could be trying to... Um, possibly... Uh, locate you or watch you to see if you are indulging in bad habits or whatever the situation is here mm -hmm. yeah somebody's trying to bring forth some type of offer here but i feel like uh whoever this person is the wolf in sheep clothing came in the reverse but i feel like that they're a wolf in sheep clothing here Because we have bad habits and then wolf and sheep clothing in the reverse. So somebody can't be addicted to drugs and things of that nature. Um, but not be a wolf and sheep clothing, if you know what I mean. 
especially with all this going on. But somebody definitely does know that you aren't a wolf in sheep clothing here. Yeah, somebody feels rejected here. Um, time's running out, or that's how this person feels, but they definitely are feeling rejected here. Yeah, Divine Feminine. So for some of you, somebody literally is going to try to put a love spell on you. Somebody, somebody wanted you to have this sexual infection or this sexual disease or whatever the situation is here. Yeah, there's somebody that's going to try to come in and say that they miss you here. This person definitely did reject you and now they want to come in and say they miss you, that they love you, um, whoever this person is. Yeah, something about the jackpot here. So you definitely could be winning some money here or you're getting some unexpected money or something about an inheritance is very significant here. So there could be somebody that's trying to do some type of love spell on you or something here. They're, they're possibly trying to get you trapped here. But I feel like that they're going to fall in their own trap. Um, and yeah, they're going to see, I don't know, it's something about I see. Yeah, we have turning your back here. So somebody, yeah, this person literally could try to put, somebody could literally try to put a love spell on you because you've turned your back on this person. Um, but you're definitely going to be receiving some type of shocking news here. Mm -hmm. Whoever this person is, they steal your ideas, they copy your work, they duplicate you, or they just feed off your energy. Mm -hmm. This person possibly is going to try to come in and, and kiss ass here. Um, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But this person definitely did put some type of love spell on you. So they did partner up with somebody to do things to you. But now, this person is seeing that they were a part of some type of game. They possibly had some type of, again, spells on them. Yeah, whoever you are, you're definitely dodging bullets here. Um, you're definitely blocking out the negativity. You're escaping crazy people. And you're protected um, from the haters here. Mm-hmm. And you're protected from everything that they're trying to um, project to, get, uh, to you here. Yeah, something about bad credit, unemployment, debt. So somebody was possibly doing some things to you to cause you to have bad credit. Um, to cause you to lose your job or to be in debt here. Somebody definitely is messed up over you. Um, so they're, so whoever this person is, they could love you, but because they were under spells and things of that nature, they didn't know what was going on. They just went with the flow because they were under some type of spell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have heartbreak here. So this person definitely could have broken your heart. I feel like this person is going to be heartbroken once they find out, once they see what they've been involved in. Yeah, whoever you are, continue to live in the moment. Continue to live in the moment because this person was a drama starter, just like the person that they were partnered up with. Um, there's a drama starter that possibly wants to bring forth some type of offer here. They literally could be looking you up, researching you, studying, getting info about you, um, trying to possibly cause you heartbreak still. But whoever you are, you're in phase. You're in phase by the love spell. You're in phase about whatever is going on behind the scenes here. Uh, whoever you are, this person is a groupie. They're also a spiritual hater. And yeah, it's a karmic and the karmic's friends.
They literally could be trying to use scarcity tactic tactics to infiltrate your energy here. Um, I feel like that, yeah, there's some type of love-hate relationship between you and somebody or with, with these two people. Or it's going to be here. Whoever you are, yeah, you're unbothered. Um, these people have karmic ties. And so, yeah, they have karmic debt to pay here. Somebody, whoever this person is, that now possibly sees what they were involved in. Yeah, they're being haunted here. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it has something to do with their bad reputation. So whoever this person is, you're gonna see this person um possibly unload or or you're gonna hear this person unload everything that was being done behind the scenes. Um but this person literally they see or are going to see that what they were a part of here. Um, for some of you, you're going to see that somebody was a part of some type of cult or some type of, I don't know. Yeah, somebody has to go back to the drawing board here. So this person literally could be trying to unpack, get some things off their chest because they know that they're going to have to go back to the drawing board. Um, but I feel like that whoever this is, they they definitely played a part in doing a lot behind the scenes here. Mm -hmm. But whoever you are, yeah, remain calm. While these people are going back to the drawing board, there are epic rewards that are getting ready to be presented to you. Yeah. Matthew. 26 and 52 says put your sword back in its place so yeah remain calm um for all who draw the sword will die by the sword so yeah that explains it um whatever is is being finalized or in the final approach you're not going to be disappointed um, but I feel like that these people are going to be disappointed, but I'm also picking up too that there is somebody that doesn't want you to be disappointed here. Something about a final approach. So for some of you, somebody is taking some type of final approach to try to get CPS involved or whatever the situation is here. But there is some type of curse that is broken. So that could be why this person now is seen. So this person was cursed. So these people were trying to curse you. So there is somebody, possibly a karmic feminine here, who has to go back to the drawing board here. And they possibly um, are losing their shit. They don't, they're not taking care of their kids. Um, child services is possibly involved. This person definitely is not awakened. Um, this person is a liar. But there is a curse that is uh, broken here. What else, spirit? Yeah, we have soulmate here. So this could be your soulmate. This could be a close friend or a romantic partner here. Um, they definitely were involved in whatever was going on behind the scenes. This soulmate literally could have created false reports to child services here. Yeah, they literally were trying to knock you off balance. But they worked as a team, so it's a karmic um, couple here. They worked as a team to try to knock you off balance here. The curse is broken, so this person is possibly probably seeing what they have done, but it's too late. Yeah, they committed blasphemy here. And so Matthew 26 and 52 says, put your sword back in its place. For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. So yeah, they definitely committed blasphemy here, and it was a, a, a karmic couple that did it here. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to keep it a secret, or they're trying to act like that it's not that 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 it won't be revealed. Whatever done, what's ever done in the dark, it'll come to the light. Um, yeah, and whoever this person is, especially the feminine energy, they're hiding because the truth has came out here. 
So if the truth has already came out or if they know that the truth is out, whoever this person is, they want to unload. They want to go ahead and, and basically reveal the part that they played here. But I feel like it's because the curse is broken. And so this person literally knows the truth that they were a part of a game or whatever the situation is. Yeah, but but some type of truth has already has came out as well about some type of love triangle. I don't feel like that you were involved in this love triangle. I feel like that you walked away um, or it was or this happened before you came into the picture or something like that. You weren't involved. I feel like when you found out you eliminated yourself or something like that. Angel Sarah Quill definitely is watching over you and definitely protecting you from harm here. Spiritual court is definitely in session here. So somebody's own soulmate committed blasphemy again. I mean blasphemy against them and then try to hide it. Whoever your spiritual team is, they ain't having it. Yeah, something about a stolen car here. And we did see that car. So somebody could be trying to steal your car. Or something like that. Something about epic rewards are going to be presented to you. So I don't know if somebody was trying to steal your car. Or that's what they're trying to do. Whoever you are, you could live a country life here or something like that. Or you could just, you know, prefer the country life over um, the city life or over, you know, maybe you do live in the country. Maybe that's why they feel like that they can try to steal your car. They just don't know that your angels are watching over you here. Um, something could have definitely been taking place for seven years or something like that. Or somebody literally was making up lies about you for seven years. Mm-hmm. The truth about something could have came out uh, about something that happened seven years ago could have could have came out here or something like that. Um, Matthew 24 and 10 says many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another. So for some of you, these two people that worked as a team are now betraying one another and hating one another. We saw the love hate here. Mm -hmm. But you going to see the person that literally... Um, Acted like that they loved you, but really betrayed you. Whoever this is, they felt pressure to be in a relationship with a karmic. So it could be because this person was cursed. This karmic put a curse on them here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these people are spreading rumors. One of the rumors that they spread was that you never struggle. You have it easy. Somebody feels like it's not fair. Who said that you didn't struggle? Who said that you have it easy? These people, um, yeah, you're not lucky. You're blessed. So it's not easy being on your spiritual journey. It's not easy being a divine being. Um, it's easy to be a karmic. It's easy to be toxic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've already you've already uh, ended it with this person. You've already thank you to next it this person here. I don't even know why they're trying to come back in. I guess because they have to go back to the drawing board and they possibly know that epic rewards are going to be uh presented to you and it's because they were doing things behind the scenes to get you trapped up. Yeah, somebody was literally trying to put you uh, in an unsafe situation, or that's the plan that they were trying to do, um, put you in some type of unsafe situation here. Mm -hmm. Something definitely has been finalized, or somebody's final approach is to try to put you in an unsafe situation, or, or the courts know that these people were trying to put you in an unsafe situation and something is getting ready to be finalized, uh, you're definitely being protected. And I feel like that all these two people, they're falling, uh, falling away from each other. And if there were other people involved, yeah, everybody's betraying one another here. But somebody literally is trying to put you in an unsafe situation here.
and it has something to do with with GPS, second GPS. So somebody literally could be trying to locate you, could be trying to track you. For some of you, somebody literally could be trying to give you this sexual infection or this sexual disease here. Somebody's brother could be trying to track you, trying to locate you here. Yeah, whoever these people are, they're mad that you are doing you. So keep doing you. For some of you, somebody's brother is dreaming about you, fantasizing about you. We have a 60 to 70 year old here. So there could be a 60 to 70 year old that is in an unsafe situation here or being put in an unsafe situation. Or there's a 60 to 70 year old that is a part of the, the games, part of the, the cult or whatever's going on behind the scenes. Somebody literally could be sending a 60 to 70 year old in here because it says I come in peace. Psych. Mm -hmm. So for some of you, somebody's going to act like they're trying to come in peace, but they're really not. Yeah, somebody literally could have wanted to try to act like that they want to join forces with you here. Whoever these people are, they're mad because you are doing you, keep doing you. These people don't take life seriously, but they definitely are going to get a wake up call. So that could be what you're going to see and what a whole lot of people see here. And whoever the 60 to 70 year old is, they could be a part of this uh, wake up call that's coming in here. Yeah, there's some type of spiritual abundance that it's that's on its way to you here. But we already have epic rewards are going to be um, presented to you here. Whoever this is is trying to locate you um, to act like that they're coming in peace, but they're really not. Yeah, they're not. They're not playing with a full deck here. It could be somebody's brother. It could be your brother. Take it how it resonates. I'm also picking up too that this person, whoever this is, that the curse has been broken on. Um, this person literally could be, uh, seeing everything and everybody for who they are, because I feel like that these people are still cursed. The other people that are attached to this person, they're still cursed. They're still under some type of spell here. Yeah. There's some type of safeguard that has been put in place here because yeah, somebody is trying to locate you or track you or something like that. So there's some type of safeguard that has been, in, been put in place here. Yeah. There's getting ready to be an outcome that takes place. And Matthew 26 and 52 says, put your sword back in its place. For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. So for some of you, somebody literally could pass away here. Just being honest. Yeah, because something definitely has been verified here. The truth has been verified. So, so whatever this is, is being finalized. It's based off of the truth. So somebody knows that that's somebody was trying to put you in an unsafe situation. You're, something about an email has been verified here. But somebody literally could be tracking you here. For some of you, somebody literally could be trying to email you here. So you could possibly get some type of email to, to let you know that something has been finalized or uh, uh, finished, put in, in final. What else, Spirit? Yeah, we have heart problems here, so somebody could be having heart problems to the point to where they are going to pass away here.
But they literally could be having heart problems from whatever this sexual infection or sexual disease is as well. Um, whoever this is that's trying to track you or locate you or whatever, yeah, it has to cease. It has to come to an end here. And it's because they're having heart problems. And it's because they're possibly getting ready to be on their deathbed or something like that. If somebody was trying to send you heart problems or cause you to have heart problems, yeah, it has to come to an end. I feel like somebody was trying to um, curse you as well. But whoever you are, you can't be cursed because you're an earth angel. You're a divine being. You could be seeing the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 a lot. This is a countdown to your new beginning. There are epic rewards that are going to be presented to you here. Mm-hmm. Whatever this heart, these heart problems are, whatever this, uh, whatever's going on behind the scenes, I feel like that that's the wake up call, and I feel like that you're going to see it, or somebody literally is going to see once they go through whatever this is with the heart problems or whatever, and they're going to see, or somebody is going to go through heart problems. It could be that sixty to seventy year old for some of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have destiny out here. Um, destiny is still going to be fulfilled. Your your future has already be, been predetermined. So these people were um, trying to uh, block your destiny or trying to stop you from uh, doing what, what God put you on this earth to do here. So yeah, these people have a problem. And then on top of that, they were committing blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have aid here. So a person who acts as an assistant here. So I don't know if somebody's going to need an aid or something like that when it comes to their health. Or somebody acted as an assistant to somebody um, to do whatever it is that they were doing behind the scenes. Yeah, because we do have the karmic masculine, karmic feminine here. Yeah, somebody's going to be crying. Or somebody literally is crying. Because, yeah, something unfavorable and harmful has already taken place. But there's some... some, some some more unfavorable and harmful things that are going to take place as well here. Um, but that's what these people wanted for you. Yeah, games are for lames. So whoever this person is, they possibly are crying because they're possibly seeing now that they were part of some type of game. But we did see the yo-yo. Something about stability has been put in final, has been uh, finished here. Yeah, somebody literally could have been trying to cause you heart problems to stop you from, you know, being stable. Yeah, somebody has been doing something for years. So this could have taken place for years. I mean, we do have seven years. Yeah, and these people, karma. Yeah, these people, they can no longer stir up or urge on um, whatever they were doing behind the scenes. So there were other people that were urging on or, or stirring up. People tracking you, people, these two people doing whatever they were doing behind the scenes. What else, Spirit, so we can get out of this energy? Yeah, there definitely could have been a protection order to be put in place when it comes to you here. So, uh, that could be a spiritual protection order, physical protection order. But, I mean, as above, so below. So, if it's a spiritual protection order, there definitely could be a, a physical protection order that has been put in place as well. What else, Spirit? Yeah. Yeah. These people try to cover up what they were doing. But we already talked about that here. Mm -hmm. Anything else? 
yeah, the curse is broken. Your curse is broken. Or the curse is broken. But there were these people were stirring up. They were urging on uh, these people to curse you or something like that. Whoever you are, your story never changed. The truth is the truth. Uh, and it says, Matthew 26 and 52, put your sword down back in its, I mean, excuse me, put your sword back in its place. For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. So, you know, the sword, it, it could be your words. Your truth never changed. And so, yeah, these people, they got a problem. They committed blasphemy here. Yeah, when it comes to your stability, everything is going to work out in your favor. And for, so for some of you, whatever these epic awards that are going to be presented to you, that's what's in uh, final. That's what's almost finished here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody was looking for validation externally, and I feel like that they, they're getting it internally. Um, but it's not validation. It's a wake-up call. These people were definitely were sending you the evil eye. And... They literally could have been involved in a government setup. They could have gotten you try to get you involved in a government setup here. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of things that were being done behind the scenes here. And whoever these people are, they got to pay. So something could take place within uh, the next couple of days here. Everything is going to work out in your favor. Again, games are for lames. They wanted to play these lame ass games. Yeah, and they're going to find themselves crying if they already aren't. Because And the person that is crying the most is the person uh, that you had something with here. Um, because yeah, they ate it somebody in doing all this stuff so they're going to be charged or they're going to get karma just like the other people here yeah there's some relevant and important information that is coming your way here mm -hmm. yeah and I feel like that whoever this person is they're definitely feeling helpless here and they literally could be holding back from saying something. But eventually this person is going to say something here. Mm -hmm. And it definitely could have something to do with the doctor. Um, there definitely could be a group of men that were involved. So for some of you, it could have been a whole group of men and a feminine energy. Um, it's something about a cult. But yeah, these people were, they were a part of trying to sacrifice you or something like that. And I, and I, at the end of the day, you're going to see what was being done behind the scenes. You're going to see uh, what all was taking place. You're going to see who is who and what's what. But I feel like that whoever this person is that the curse is broken on, they're going to see what part that they played. They're going to see who they were a part of, what cult, what, what group that they were a part of here. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let's get us a spiritual AF message to take us out, y'all. I feel like you're going to see something take place soon. Yeah, it says, guess who ain't got to explain shit to nobody? You. You. Quit trying to explain yourself to everyone. No one has to understand your brand of cuckoo. You got you get, you got to own your shit, but that's a whole lot different than trying to get everyone to sign off on whatever weirdness you want to create. Get on with your freaky little self. You freaky little fluck. So yeah, whoever this is, uh, they're, because they're going back to the drawing board, they want to come and explain themselves to you. Uh, but it's because this, the, this person literally... Um, was trying to get everybody to sign off on whatever weird stuff that they were doing behind the scenes to you here, um, or these two people, because it's a karmic feminine and karmic masculine here. Um, I feel like whoever these two people are, they're getting ready to get a wake-up call, and everybody around them is getting ready to get a wake-up call here. Um, you don't have to explain yourself to anybody. You continue on being your little freaky self and doing your little freaky do deals. But whoever these people are, they were doing freaky things behind the scenes here. 
and that's how they came up with this uh, sexual infection and for some yeah and then I mean we have reckless sex and sexual infection and for some of you somebody literally could catch a case so for some of you somebody literally could have spread whatever this is to, to people let's get one more yeah it says your growth scares people who don't want to change are you getting shit from people who think Excuse me. Are you getting shit from people who you think should be cheering you on? If you thought of them as scary people instead of giant assholes, could you be more compassionate with them or at least let their current assholishness slide for now? Mm, compassion. Tastes nice and minty. Fresh, doesn't it? So yeah, whoever the you are, I feel like the that this person wants some type of compassion. I mean, you can be have compassion for this person because you're the divine being. You know, you're the spiritual one. So, um, you definitely could understand or are going to understand what this person is, is talking about or whatever the situation is because you already know um, what happens when people are cursed or what happens, you know, when people play with spell work. Even if you don't indulge in the in the darkness and the, the, the black magic and the whatever, I mean, at the end of the day, because we are divine beings, because we are spiritual beings, we know about it. And so for some of you, yeah, um, you're going to possibly show this person compassion, but it doesn't mean that you take this person back. It doesn't mean that you, you know, involve yourself with this person. It doesn't mean that you let this person in your energy or any of that nature. You'll just, you're going to see, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to understand why this person was doing what they were doing. But at the end of the day, you have free will as far as to choose to continue to uh, communicate with this person or allow this person in your energy, in your life, or whatever. It's definitely up to you. But I feel like that you definitely are going to see something is going to be brought right in front of your face. This person literally could be unloading everything that has taken place behind the scenes. But it was them partnering up with a karmic feminine, you know, um, doing whatever they were doing behind the scenes. But it was also more than just... Uh, this karmic masculine and karmic feminine that were involved it was a whole group of people and for some of you it was a group of men that were involved so y'all that's been the message please like share and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon